I'm Nick Sullivan. I'm the creative director of Esquire magazine here in New York. I'm responsible for all the coverage that we do in terms of fashion, luxury and lifestyle. Um, I've been here 20 years. I cover watches, I write, I style, I art direct, I do all sorts of things. I first discovered Massimo's work really right at the beginning of my career in, in magazines when uh, I thought that fashion was all about runway shows and big names and that. I, and, and as soon as I got to Italy and started to explore, I realized that there was this parallel universe that was really coming out principally out of Italy of brands that were putting all their energy into research and authenticity and, and creating a kind of a parallel universe, if you like, of fashion. And that was also particularly big in the UK where I was at the time. Uh, the brand was very well known, but amongst a, a real sort of conoscenti, if you like right from the beginning is, is this idea of authenticity, of research, of bringing new materials into play, of playing with authentic ideas of utility and performance. And I think that really underlies kind of everything that in that world is, is, is critical to the sort of appeal of those clothes. Um, and Massimo Asti was the OG of that. He started it. I suppose the most important lesson, and this applies to me as a writer, but also to my appreciation of design is that you can never do enough research, whether that's into what the fabric is going to do, into the origins of an idea, whether it's a pocket coming from an old uni uniform jacket, or, or, or just an overall feeling of that, that sort of authenticity. It all goes back to exhaustive research. While you see the influence of Massimo Osti literally everywhere in men's fashion, um, certainly in the last 10 years, as street style became a thing, everything that he did has been visible in other brands, in the way people dress on the street. That's always been the case in a smaller degree, but I think his influence has reached far more people, although a lot of them don't know it. They don't necessarily know his name. The influence of his design ethos and his research has actually really completely changed men's fashion. Well, I like to think if he was still around, he'd still be amazing us with ever new twists on on those ideas of research and, 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 and authenticity and innovation in making clothes that were very wearable on the street, very easy to get your head round, but had a lot of story behind them. I think what was fascinating, what was fascinating about Massimo is that he had a sort of a long-term goal to make utilitarian clothing rather than fashion and, and try to make that available to as many people as possible, the idea of having this sort of global reach for a certain philosophy of clothing. 